Hi, this is Cole from Print a Lot. Okay, uh, we're going to assemble now the bearing end of the Y axis. Uh, what we need for this is four uh, eight millimeters M5 bolts and these fiddly little T nuts. Be coming to loathe. Right, and 20 by 40 by 480 two lengths of V slot. Okay, let's put the V slot to one side for a second. And this bearing piece 3D printed. Okay, uh, take one of your nuts, stick it. From the inside out, or bolt, should I say, and take one of the T nuts. The, the side with the, the nib facing the print. Give it about two, three spins or four. Don't take it all the way down. And the other side. There we go. Right, now you want a bit of length, because now we're going to take a section of this V slot, place that down on the bolt on the surface, take a section of your V slot, and pull it, slide the nuts into the V slot. Okay, push. What you want is your print flush with the end of your V slot. Now tip it onto its side, and for this side only, you can actually get your anning keys to go through and tighten up your, nut, uh, your bolts. While you're doing this, try and keep it as square as you can. Okay. It's nice and tight. Now, take your bolts for the other side and do it again. Remember the nib bit facing the grip. Place it down on its side and do this exactly the same what you did with the other side. T nuts into the V slot. Again, keep keeping it as flush as you can. This time it's going to be a bit harder to tighten it because obviously we can't get this side. So keeping it now on the surface, just tighten them up. The hard way.
I'm going to skip this bit, I think. Because it's going to take some time. But you got the gist of it. Keep it as flush to the back end of your print and tighten it so it's nice and stiff and doesn't move. Okay, so once you've got that tightened up and it's flush with the back end, your two pieces are flush with the back end of the print, that's ready to go. It's nice and sturdy, tightened nicely. So put that to one side for a second. Then we're going to take the other lead screw. Uh, Stark 10 25mm uh, pitch from Trini Labs. Okay, just like before with the other piece of your print, we're going to need two mil washers, millimeter washers, and two 605zz uh, bearings, and your flexi coupling with 5mm one side and the 6.35 the other side. Okay, let's see if we've got the same problem as we did with. Yep, we're finding that's a bit tight to get the bearings on. That's what you need to do is get yourself a piece of Henry paper. Piece of Henry paper. And a little bit of WD 40. Coat the paper, just like so. Wrap it around the end nice and gently, and just give it a little scrape. Okay. Doing okay, just make sure the end is nice and done. Okay, a bit of tissue paper. Clean off the excess. Right, now, let's see if it's worked. Take your bearing, um, your meal washer, and take your 605zz bearing, and it should push on. Yeah. Perhaps a little bit more cleaning with the Henry paper. Yeah. Even that washer's struggling to get off. I think it's what's causing it, and this is just guesswork, mind. Slightly got a little bevel on the end of it. I don't know if that's going to be standard to all these lead screws, but it certainly has happened to both of mine. Mill washer. Let's try the bearing again. Please work this time. Yeah, look at that. It slides on. Still a bit of tension. All the rest of it. And then obviously the other meal washer, or spacer, onto that, and then your last bearing. We're on. Okay. Now take your flexi coupling. Um, obviously, six point thirty-five mil hole this side. Plonk it on and tighten. Okay, that's piece assembled. Okay, now put that to one side for a second. 